Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Today's question is, does the queen stop laying in the wintertime? Well, let's get this turned to the light where you can see inside these cells. And this is about the third frame I've pulled out. And it is absolutely dotted up with eggs. And then you'll see some larvae on another frame I'll show you. And I saw the queen. If I can spot her again, she was right there. She is. She's up there. She walked up on the honey. Look. Right there. She knows I'm in the hive. And you can see, see the cat brood as it's hatching out. This is not spotty brood. These have hatched out because this hive is increased. I can see by the number in it, a lot of these colonies was very small. This hive's actually increased. These, this brood has hatched out. Of course, some of them will be dying, the winter bees. And right there's the queen. She walked around this side. There she is, right there. So she has absolutely got this thing dotted up with eggs like crazy she is really really working and doing a really good job uh, these little hives like this these nukes if you're able to do it in your climate these things are a way to go through the winter time because they don't require a lot of resources you don't have to leave 20 30 40 pounds of honey in these little things here they they're just not they just don't require each each one of these frames you can see up on the top the top layer has a pretty good little sheet of honey left on each of those and which may not sound like a lot but remember this is a small five colony nuke and one frame there's one frame of sky just a handful of bees on it but and look at the pollen now and just a reminder and and I know maybe people get tired of me talking about this, but I'm telling you, feed these things through the winter, pollen, and these and that queen. Make sure though, see, do your homework. Make sure that see the see the the honey on the top. We got honey in there. Pick up the back of your box and feel how heavy it is. Today's a good day. I normally don't go through highs, and I know people's gonna comment. that. I'm doing it for the YouTube viewers, the new people that's not seeing anything. And to me, it's worth, you know, uh, doing just one colony just to show, especially the brand new beekeeper. Uh, now, look how, look how heavy they're feeding right here. They're feeding very heavy on this pollen. And that right there will increase your number of bees. It'll trigger that queen to lay. Now, there's... Uh, the, the length of the days, just like a chicken, if you know anything about chickens, chickens require a certain amount of, of daylight. It'll slow them down when the days get shorter. Now, I don't think so much with bees as much from what I've seen over, over the years. It does, of course, slow them down some. Uh, the coldness. We've had a pretty warm winter so far. So, but keep in mind, look, you gotta have a balance. Uh, I know what people was going to say, hey, you know, that warm weather is not good because you're going to end up starving out your bees. Not if you did your preparations before fall and you made sure the colonies had a lot of sugar water going in or you left enough honey for them. Now, this is January and uh, today's the 6th. Uh, in about another month, maybe five weeks, the red maple is going to start blooming and they're going to start bringing in nectar and at that time, now watch, I'm, I'm telling you this up front. Now watch when I tell you the red maple's blooming and I'm gonna show you this feeder and they'll stop. These bees will completely stop on this feeder and I'll show you in a future video here in February when they start feeding on that red maple up there. I'm, gonna, I'm telling you right now, once they start taking that, this will stop right here. You may see it just a handful of bees, maybe. But then what they want, they want sugar water. Now that's when I start feeding sugar water. So basically we got from here about five weeks to go. So the colonies need about five more weeks of sugar water or of honey stores 
to get them through because then I'm going to start feeding uh, two to one sugar water in every colony. And then you'll see these things blow up like crazy. I'm telling you, I do this every year. It's the same story. So those of you that t the, the ones that tell you don't feed this pollen, they just haven't done this stuff. They haven't had the experience that we've done here. I'm telling you, I do this every single year. It's the same story. Just like I'm telling you how they're gonna stop feeding on this when that red maple blooms and watch and see if I'm not telling you the truth. So that's about it. I just wanted to show you that these bees don't stop laying. These queens don't stop laying. And there's ways that you can come out of winter with an extremely strong colony. So don't forget, folks, please, if, if you know a new beekeeper, somebody's trying to get into beekeeping, please pass along these videos. Don't forget, too, we've got packages, nukes and packages. We've been taking orders for uh, a long time, and we're, we're selling a lot of them really fast. So if you want your bees, you better order them now because the turn of the year, when it turns January, the, the sales pick up fast. And the later you wait, you're going to be behind in uh, getting your package or nuke. So that's about it. Don't forget, click on the little bell, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Beast.